Hey guys, day 161. I just finished high intensity stationary bicycle. So, um, here is what I noticed about building a habit, uh, especially a healthy habit. When you want to have um, a new habit, what I think it's not so much of getting rid of the old habit, it's more like replacing those habits with better ones. So let's say a habit such as like uh, eating healthy or being healthy, right? Um, there must be like, you know, some core things like, uh, you know, what to do. Um, why to do it, uh, how to do it, and also uh, have to want to do it, the desire to. I mean, like, think about like this, um, you know, like, if I didn't want to stay healthy or if I didn't want to, like, um, have more energy, um, have get sick less often, I, I wouldn't exercise, I, I wouldn't eat wholesome food, I would eat all the junk food. And hey guys, day 160, just finished stationary bicycle, and just uh, want to say that, you know, there are some days when I used to have a lot of excuses and that would be something that stops me from doing what I needed to do and wanted to do. Over the years, the sooner I get it done or, you know, when I think too much about it, it has to be a strategy to it. But if I'm making up all excuses that I, I noticed that over the years, I just tell myself, like, you know, to snap out of it. Um, stop making up all the excuses. Um, anyway, so I want to let you guys know that I also, um, anyway, since August, um, has pretty much stop eating any processed uh, junk food like candy, sugar, uh, candies, chocolate. Um, I pretty much try to cut out completely. Uh, I mean, over Christmas holiday, I ate like I think four pieces of some cookies, like two pieces of cookies and two chocolate. And I realized because I haven't had it for so long, I ate it and I'm like, oh, this is so gross. This is so sweet. And it's just a habit that I got used to. So I've been pretty much like eating a lot of fruits and it's something that I do regularly as well too but it's just amping it up even more because nutrition and fitness they go hand in hand if anything what we eat affects us a lot and it makes such a big difference what we eat we can control so much of our um, health and well-being by eating properly you might not even need to work out as much because the key thing, like 90% of the time, is pretty much in your diet, the exercise just kind of get the blood flow going and just, you know, a channel of stress reliever like that. Day 159, we are not. I am I was naked. Gosh. Day 158, did some cardio and then also did some arm workout and leg workout. Getting good about working out. Hey guys, it's day 157. Just doing some lunges. Uh, with my husband's dumbbells. So I'm a cardio girl and I've been doing these weights. It's way more than my usual. There's some lunges or doing some lunges. Uh, did lots of squats, some resistant bands. Whew. Getting a really good sweat from this. <laughs> oh. You know, I never really paid much attention back then, but doing the weights in. Whew. Oh shoot, you actually sweat. Day 156, so I went to the gym, did some cardio, used some machines, worked out the legs and the arms, and oh my god, my muscles are torn, <laughs> more torn. <laughs> Anyways, it's a good feeling. Day 155, hit the gym, did some cardio and some weights, uh, pumping the <laughs> muscles. Okay, feels good. <laughs>